this is uh, known as fancy gun handling or gun spinning. Uh, and uh, again, I recall the, fa uh, the safety factor in this. There are nothing in the guns uh, at this time, and I will be doing some uh, gun juggling, if to describe it for what it actually is. And uh, it's turning the guns around, and you've seen a lot of the fellas do this in the movies and all that and they do have gun spinning contests, and that's exactly what it is. It's a gun juggling, and this is working around for different uh, uh, events of putting up, or, oh, there's a holster lift, bring it in and back into the holster and around, or back into it again, and another lift, and you get what they call a border shift, and that goes into it and around about, and that's a flat spin there with a reversed in and that. Uh, so we have one that will jump up into there that way and come back over here and do what's called a tip up, is there around, and sometimes you do a triple up that way and back into the holster around, and we have two guns here to where they will uh, reverse out and spin and work on them that way. And uh, again, this was what the Lone Ranger did into his uh, activity there. A lot of people ask me about drawing and firing a gun, and certainly I've been in contests, and it's interesting that people get into different crouches, and there's some that'll get into this position, which I kind of giggle out because I can't think of a man being a real tough and ugly walking around town ready to draw his gun. So uh, it, it's humorous, but to stand there, this gun is drawn and fired. This is what I was doing with Sammy Davis, I was telling you. But my safety factor on that, because people have been with live ammunition and do the fast draw and the gun gets away and uh, uh, there's been accidents that way. So that's why I say never, never do that with a loaded gun. But on mine, I do draw and fire, and the gun is brought up, and I stand in a normal position like this to where that gun is ready to go instead of going into the crouches and uh, getting an Andy deal there on it to where <laughs> uh, I'm into that. and. Again, as I was telling you about Sammy Davis, he would get in position and mine would come into that ready to go. So uh, there's different ways of drawing and firing a gun. Uh, again, in the movies, uh, what I do would is too fast to pick up on a camera. So they have choreographed this to where uh, they want to shoot and expand and uh, make make it interesting to watch. So they will go into a, a, a big shot into that, or if they're walking around, and then come into, it's very exaggerated and going in. And the speed is there, uh, at, but it is uh, uh, theatrical in it deal. But as I say, I'm standing there, and with that, it's ready to go. Or I get three shots out in a hurry to where it is from here to here to here. So, uh, and speed that up and it sounds like one shot. So those are some of the many things that I uh, have been able to do and uh, working with the guns. You've got a border shift with this. You have a border shift and a withdraw and fire working both of the guns. You have uh, some of the gun handling maneuvers that came out of the West. There was one known as the Road Agent Spin. This came out of Tombstone, Arizona about the time Wyatt Earp was there. There was one of the fellas, Curly Bill Brocia, shooting his pistol down the street, and the marshal heard it. He ran out and told Curly Bill to stop shooting, surrender his gun butt first, which he did, and just as he reached for the gun, the gun was reversed and fired, and that went the annals of Western lore as the Road Agent Spin. Uh, another one, uh, was the border shift where it goes from one hand to the other. And you say, why would he do that? <clears throat> this gun had been fired till it was empty. 
he did a border shift and brought the other gun out to fire. So, and then there was one that was called a pinwheel by using the weight of the gun as it goes around to cock it, and that was another one of the names of the gun hand maneuvers was the pinwheel.